French fries, French fries, or just fries, North American English, chips, British and Commonwealth English, finger chips, Indian English, or French fried potatoes are botany or alomet cut deep fried potatoes. In the United States and most of Canada, the term fries refers to all dishes of fried elongated pieces of potatoes, while in the United Kingdom, Australia, South Africa, Ireland, and New Zealand, thinly cut fried potatoes are sometimes called shoestring fries or skinny fries to distinguish them from chips, which are cut thicker. French fries are served hot, either soft or crispy, and are generally eaten as part of lunch or dinner or by themselves as a snack, and they commonly appear on the menus of diners fast food restaurants, pubs, and bars. They are usually salted and, depending on the country, may be served with ketchup, vinegar, mayonnaise, tomato sauce, or other local specialties. Fries can be topped more heavily, as in the dishes of poutine and chili cheese fries. Chips can be made from kumara or other sweet potatoes instead of potatoes. A baked variant, oven chips, uses less oil or no oil. One very common fast food dish is fish and chips. French fries are prepared by first cutting the potato, peeled or unpeeled, into even strips, which are then wiped off or soaked in cold water to remove the surface starch, and thoroughly dried. They may then be fried in one or two stages. Chefs generally agree that the two-bath technique produces better results. Potatoes fresh out of the ground can have too high a water content, resulting in soggy fries, so preferences for those that have been stored for a while. In the two-stage or two-bath method, the first bath sometimes called blanching, is in hot fat, around 160 degrees Celsius, 320 degrees Fahrenheit, to cook them through. This step can be done in advance. Then they are more briefly fried in very hot fat, 190 degrees Celsius, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, to crisp the exterior. They are then placed in a colander on a cloth to drain, salted, and served. The exact times of the two baths depend on the size of the potatoes. For example, for 2 to 3 mm strips, the first bath takes about 3 minutes, and the second bath takes only seconds. One can cook French fries using several techniques. Deep frying submerges food in hot fat, most commonly oil. Vacuum fryers are suitable to process low quality potatoes with higher sugar levels than normal, as they frequently have to be processed in spring and early summer before the potatoes from the new harvest become available. In the UK, a chip pan is a deep sided cooking pan used for deep frying. Chip pans are named for their traditional use in frying chips. Most French fries are produced from frozen potatoes which have been blanched or at least air-dried industrially. Most chains that sell fresh-cut fries use the Idaho russet Burbank variety of potatoes. It has been the standard for French fries in the United States. The usual fat for making French fries is vegetable oil. In the past, beef suet was recommended as superior, with vegetable shortening as an alternative. In fact, McDonald's used a mixture of 93% beef tallow and 7% cottonseed oil until 1990, when they switched to vegetable oil with beef flavoring. Starting in the 1960s, more fast food restaurants have been using frozen French fries. Thomas Jefferson had potatoes served in the French manner at a White House dinner in 1802. The expression French fried potatoes first occurred in print in English in the 1856 work cookery for maids of all work by E. Warren, French fried potatoes. Cut new potatoes in thin slices, put them in boiling fat, and a little salt, fry both sides of a light golden brown color, drain. This account referred to thin, shallow fried slices of potato, French cut. It is not clear where or when the now familiar deep fried batons or fingers of potato were first prepared. In the early 20th century, the term French fried was being used in the sense of deep fried for foods like onion rings or chicken. The French and Belgians have an ongoing dispute about where fries were invented, with both countries claiming ownership. Out from the Belgian standpoint, the popularity of the term French fries is explained as a French gastronomic hegemony into which the cuisine of Belgium was assimilated because of a lack of understanding coupled with a shared language and geographic proximity of the countries. Belgian journalist Jo Gerard claims that a 1781 family manuscript recounts that potatoes were deep fried prior to 1680 in the Meuse Valley. In what was then the Spanish Netherlands, present day Belgium, the inhabitants of Namur, and Den, and Dinan had the custom of fishing in the Meuse for small fish and frying, especially among the poor, but when the river was frozen and fishing became hazardous, they cut potatoes in the form of small fish and put them in a fryer like those here. Gerard has not produced the manuscript that supports this claim due to the fact that it is unrelated to the later history of the French fry, 
as the potato did not arrive in the region until around 1735. Also, given 18th century economic conditions, it is absolutely unthinkable that a peasant cooled hay dedicated large quantities of fat for cooking potatoes. At most they were sautéed in a pan. At least one source says that French fries for deep-fried potato batons was also introduced when American, Canadian, and British soldiers arrived in Belgium during World War I. The Belgians had previously been catering to the British soldiers' love of chips and continued to serve them to the other troops when they took over the western end of the front. The Belgians served them, and since French was the language of the Belgian army, the name French was associated with the food. However, other sources disagree. Since a Frenchman, Parmentier, first made the potato popular, it is not surprising that the first reference to fried potatoes appears to come from France. In 1775, investigators there found fried potatoes in a dish. Through the 19th century, fried potatoes became common enough that songs and engravings took the fried potato vendor as a popular subject. But at first, these were cut in rounds. In 1865, Gog, in France, wrote to cut them either round or in long and squared pieces. In 1870, Cotterlet, in Belgium, also offered both options. Given the lag between practice and print, one cannot say that the five years difference is significant. The most likely hypothesis is that the practice grew up spontaneously and spread across both countries. Some other sources refer to the Old English verb to French, meaning to cut lengthwise, as the origin of the name. At that time, the term French fries was growing in popularity. The term was already used in the United States as early as 1899, although it isn't clear whether this referred to batons, chips, or slices of potato for example in an item in Good Housekeeping which specifically references kitchen economy in France, the perfection of French fries is due chiefly to the fact that plenty of fat is used. Palm frite or just frite, French, frieden, Flemish, or patet, Dutch, became the national snack and a substantial part of several national dishes such as moule frite or steak frite. Fries are very popular in Belgium, where they are known as frieten, in Dutch, or frite, in French, and the Netherlands, where among the working classes they are known as padded in the north and, in the south, friet. In Belgium, fries are sold in shops called friteries, French, frietgat, friture, Dutch, or friture, fritter, German. They are served with a large variety of Belgian sauces and eaten either on their own or with other snacks. Traditionally, fries are served in a cornet de frite, French, patetzak, fretzak, fritzak, Dutch slash Flemish, or frittenschut, German, a white cardboard cone, then wrapped in paper, with a spoonful of sauce, often mayonnaise, on top. Fritteries and other fast food establishments tend to offer a number of different sauces for the fries and meats. In addition to ketchup and mayonnaise, Popular options include, aioli, sauce and louse, sauce americana, bicky dressing, gel bicky sauce, curry mayonnaise, mama a sauce, peanut sauce, samurai sauce, sauce pickles, pepper sauce, tartar sauce, zigoiner sauce, and a la zingara. In Spain, fried potatoes are called patatas fritas or papas fritas. Another common form, involving larger irregular cuts, is patatas bravas. The potatoes are cut into big chunks, partially boiled and then fried. They are usually seasoned with a spicy tomato sauce, and the dish is one of the most preferred tapas by Spaniards. Fries may have been invented in Spain, the first European country in which the potato appeared from the New World colonies, and assume fries' first appearance to have been as an accompaniment to fish dishes in Galicia, from which it spread to the rest of the country and then further away, to the Spanish Netherlands, which became Belgium more than a century later. Professor Paul Ligems, curator of the Friat Museum in Bruges, Belgium, believes that St. Teresa of Avila of Spain cooked the first French fries, and refers also to the tradition of frying in Mediterranean cuisine as evidence. In France and other French-speaking countries, fried potatoes are formerly palm de terre frite, but more commonly palm frite, patate frite, or simply frite. The words aiguillettes, needlettes, or allumette, matchsticks, are used when the French fries are very small and thin. One enduring origin story holds that French fries were invented by street vendors on the Pont Neuf Bridge in Paris in 1789, just before the outbreak of the French Revolution. However, a reference exists in France from 1775 to a few pieces of fried potato into fried potatoes. Eating potatoes for sustenance was promoted in France by Antoine Augustine Parmentier, 
but he did not mention fried potatoes in particular. Many Americans attribute the dish to France and offer as evidence a notation by U.S. President Thomas Jefferson, Palme de terre frites au cru, and petites tranches, potatoes deep fried while raw, in small slices, in a manuscript in Thomas Jefferson's hand, circa 1801 to 1809 and the recipe almost certainly comes from his French chef, Honoré Julien. In addition, from 1813 on, recipes for what can be described as French fries occur in popular American cookbooks. By the late 1850s, a cookbook was published that used the term French fried potatoes. The thick-cut fries are called pomme pon neuf or simply pomme frite, about 10 mm, thinner variants are pomme à mat, matchstick potatoes, about 7 mm, and pomme pie, potato straws. 3 to 4 millimeters. Roughly 0.4, 0.3 and 0.15 inch respectively, palm gaufrettes or waffle fries. A popular dish in France is steak frite, which is steak accompanied by thin French fries. The town of Florenceville, Bristol, New Brunswick, headquarters of McCain Foods, calls itself the French fry capital of the world and also hosts a museum about potatoes called Potato World. It is also one of the world's largest manufacturers of frozen French fries and other potato specialties. Frites are the main ingredient in the Canadian slash Québécois dish known, in both Canadian English and French, as poutine, a dish consisting of fried potato s covered with cheese curds and brown gravy. Poutine has a growing number of variations but is generally considered to have been developed in rural Quebec sometime in the 1950s, although precisely where in the province it first appeared is a matter of contention. Canada is also responsible for providing 22% of China's French fries. French fries migrated to the German-speaking countries during the 19th century. In Germany, where they are usually known by the French words palms frites, or only palm or fritten, derived from the French words but pronounced as German words. They are often served with mayonnaise, and are a popular walking snack offered by Schnellimbus, Quick Bite, kiosks. Since the advent of currywurst in the 1950s, a paper tray of sausage, bratwurst or bockwurst, anointed with curry ketchup, laced with additional curry powder and a side of French fries, has become an immensely popular fast food meal. The standard deep-fried cut potatoes in the United Kingdom are called chips, and are cut into pieces between wide. They are occasionally made from unpeeled potatoes, skins showing. British chips are not the same thing as potato chips, an American term. Those are called crisps in Britain. In the UK, chips are part of the popular, and now international, fast food dish fish and chips. The first chips fried in the UK were sold by Mrs. Granny Duche in one of the West Riding towns in 1854. A blue plaque in old marks the origin of the fish and chip shop, and thus the start of the fast food industry in Britain. In Scotland, chips were first sold in Dundee, in the 1870s, that glory of British gastronomy, fee chip was first sold by Belgian immigrant Edward the Journeyer in the city's green market. In Ireland the first chip shop was opened by Giuseppe Cervi, an Italian immigrant, who arrived there in the 1880s. It is estimated that in the UK, 80% of households buy frozen chips each year. Although French fries were a popular dish in most British Commonwealth countries, the thin-style French fries have been popularized worldwide in large part by the large American fast food chains such as McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy apostrophe s. In the United States, the J.R. Simplot Company is credited with successfully commercializing French fries in frozen form during the 1940s. Subsequently, in 1967, Ray Kroc of McDonald's contracted the Simplot Company to supply them with frozen fries, replacing fresh cut potatoes. In 2004, 29% of the United States potato crop was used to make frozen fries, minus 90% consumed by the food services sector and 10% by retail. The United States is also known for supplying China with most of their French fries, as 70% of China's French fries are imported. Pre made French fries have been available for home cooking since the 1960s having been pre-fried, or sometimes baked, frozen and placed in a sealed plastic bag. Some varieties of French fries that appeared later have been battered and breaded, and many fast food chains in the U.S. dust the potatoes with kashi, dextrin, and other flavor coatings for crispier fries with particular tastes. French fries are one of the most popular dishes in the United States, commonly being served as a side dish to entrees and being seen in fast food restaurants. The average American eats around 30 pounds of French fries a year. French fries come in multiple variations. A partial list, in alphabetical order. 
Fries tend to be served with a variety of accompaniments, such as salt and vinegar, malt, balsamic or white, pepper, Cajun seasoning, grated cheese, melted cheese, mushy peas, heated curry sauce, curry ketchup, mildly spiced mix of the former, hot sauce, relish, mustard, mayonnaise, bearnais sauce, tartar sauce, chili, tzatziki, feta cheese, garlic sauce, fry sauce, butter, sour cream, ranch dressing, barbecue sauce, gravy, honey, aioli, brown sauce, ketchup, lemon juice, piccalilli, pickled cucumber, pickled gherkins, pickled onions or pickled eggs. French fries primarily contain carbohydrates, mostly in the form of starch, and protein from the potato, and fat absorbed during the deep frying process. Salt, which contains sodium is almost always applied as a surface seasoning. For example, a large serving of French fries at McDonald's in the United States is 154 grams. The 510 calories come from 66 grams of carbohydrates, 24 grams of fat, 7 grams of protein and 350 milligrams of sodium. Experts have criticized French fries for being very unhealthy. According to Jonathan Bonnet Maryland, in a Time magazine article, fries are nutritionally unrecognizable from a spud because they involve frying, salting, and removing one of the healthiest parts of the potato, the skin, where many of the nutrients and fiber are found. Kristen Kirkpatrick, Road, calls French fries an extremely starchy vegetable dipped in a fryer that then loads on the unhealthy fat, and what you have left is a food that has no nutritional redeeming value in it at all. David Katz, MD states that French fries are often the super fatty side dish to a burger, and both are often used as vehicles for things like sugar lace ketchup and fatty mayo. Frying French fries in beef tallow, lard, or other animal fats add saturated fat to the diet. Replacing animal fats with tropical vegetable oils, such as palm oil, simply substitutes one saturated fat for another. For many years partially hydrogenated vegetable oils were used as a means of avoiding cholesterol and reducing saturated fatty acid content, but in time the trans fat content of these oils was perceived as contributing to cardiovascular disease. Starting in 2008, Many restaurant chains and manufacturers of pre-cooked frozen French fries for home reheating phased out trans fat containing vegetable oils. French fries contain some of the highest levels of acrylamides of any foodstuff, and experts have raised concerns about the effects of acrylamides on human health. According to the American Cancer Society, it is not clear whether acrylamide consumption affects people's risk of getting cancer. A meta analysis indicated that dietary acrylamide is not related to the risk of most common cancers but could not exclude a modest association for kidney, endometrial or ovarian cancers. A lower-fat method for producing a French fry-like product is to coat French or wedge potatoes in oil and spices slash flavoring before baking them. The temperature will be lower compared to deep frying, and which also reduces acrylamide formation. In June 2004, the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, with the advisement of a federal district judge from Beaumont, Texas, classified batter-coated French fries as a vegetable under the Perishable Agricultural Commodities Act. This was primarily for trade reasons, French fries do not meet the standard to be listed as a processed food. This classification, referred to as the French fry rule, was upheld in the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit case Flaming Companies Incorporated v. USDA. In the United States, in 2002, the McDonald's Corporation agreed to donate to Hindus and other groups to settle lawsuits filed against the chain for mislabeling French fries and hash browns as vegetarian because beef extract was added in their production. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.